Welcome. Thank you for joining Engineering Career Services today to learn more about how to responsibly leverage AI in your career development. Let's start off by giving you some general AI guidance. We'll start with the do's. Use AI tactfully and responsibly. The main focus of your use should be brainstorm the foundation for project or task, not to produce a complete project. It is also important to use specific and multiple prompts when using AI. This allows you to refine the results that you're given and tailor the results to your specific needs. Beware of AI hallucination. AI has been known to generate false information. Do not automatically trust what it provides. Review all content from AI to ensure that it reflects your voice. This will require making edits to the output that you're given. When entering data into an AI generator, exercise caution. Many AI programs use the data that users put in for training, which means that whatever you're you enter becomes public information. Make sure to protect your privacy. On the other hand, do not plagiarize with AI. It is a powerful tool, but always remember to submit your own work. Organizations check documents for plagiarism and AI usage. Again, be mindful not to input personal identifying information as there is no guarantee of privacy when using AI. Do not fully trust AI. It makes mistakes, so please fact check answers that it gives as, sim as some may be incorrect, out of date, or simply falsified. AI is not perfect. Do not fully rely on it to be. It may not catch all errors and may produce more. Do not use AI for direct communication. These communications should be personal and written by you. An AI response is often obvious to the reader. Beware of this important note. Recently, the U.S. Department of State has issued a state has issued a statement on using AI for job applications. They, along with many other organizations, are against using AI responses to written questions. They analyze your response, and it, if it is found that you're using AI, they will discontinue your candidacy. AI is meant to be used as a tool, not a product product generator. While you might use it to get ideas, you should not copy and paste AI responses as your own. This is considered plagiarism. First, we'll talk about using AI for resume writing. Our office advises against using AI when making your resume as it prevents you from creating an original document. If you choose to use AI, it is important to review responses to ensure consistency and accuracy. It is also important to edit responses with details of your personal experience and use your own voice. If you want to use AI for your resume development, here are three sample pr prompts you might use. An appropriate use of AI for your resume could be to highlight key points of a job description. This aids you in tailoring your resume to specifically reflect what is mentioned in the job description. Incorporating these key points, skills, and keywords can help you pass ATS softwares that companies may use. Remember that if you use AI gener to generate bullets for an experience, you must edit the result to reflect details of your experience. Adding metrics and specific accomplishments instead of focusing on tasks and general duties is a great way to accomplish this. Here is an example prompt and responsible bullet generation. While you can see AI does its best with what is provided to improve the general output, we would encourage you to add details that only you know as the one who lived the experience. For example, you can add metrics throughout your bullet points to showcase the scope of your work as well as the outcomes you were able to provide. Next up, cover letters. Our office advises against the use of AI tools to generate cover letters. The point of a cover letter is to highlight your unique professional voice and showcase your written communication skills. AI will only be able to regurgitate the bullet points on your resume. An effective cover letter moves beyond that by including specific examples of how you solve problems and takes the reader through the challenges you faced, actions you took, and results of your work. If you do choose to use AI, we suggest using it to, identi to identify keywords and job descriptions, as explained earlier for resumes. While we do not condone using AI to write the cover letter, please be advised that if you do, ensure the examples being used from your resume are recent and relevant and that you proofread for hallucination, as AI is known to fill in the gaps between ideas 
with false information. If you are using it to review your letter for grammar, punctuation, or, or consistency in a professional tone, just remember that AI can still miss errors. We encourage you to visit our office or use the Writing Center instead. As a cautionary tale, be advised that in summer of 2023, an employer alerted UMD's University Career Center that they received approximately 60 nearly identical cover letters for a job posting. It was determined that these letters were formulated by AI. Needless to say, these candid candidates did not leave their best impression on the employer. One of the best places to use AI is for your job search. It can be helpful if you ask it to give you a list of companies and positions that you may be interested in and qualified for based on your resume and interests. You can find information about companies and compile lists using AI. This slide shows, shows some effective sample prompts. AI can also be effectively leveraged for interview preparation. You can ask AI to generate specific possible interview questions based on the job description. It can even be used to conduct a mock interview and analyze your answers. In addition, it can also help you research a company of interest or provide you with facts such as general overviews of the company, mission and values, notable projects, and general role types offered, which can help you with questions about why you want to work at the company. Please be advised that for accurate information, you should always refer to the company's current website to ensure you have the most up-to-date information. Here is an example of a prompt that a user gave ChatGBT to generate interview questions based on the job description. Be sure to input the job description and company website so that AI is able to generate the best possible questions. Here is an example of a prompt you may provide ChatGPT to research a company. Getting a better understanding of the engineering practices of a company can help you have more talking points to your interview or even with initial emails with recruiters. Information may also be used as keywords to include in your application to make you stand out more. One area of it of an interview where you should avoid using AI is the thank you note that you will send out after you have concluded the interview. You may be tempted to use AI to draft these notes. However, our office strongly advises against this practice. The use of AI can make your thank you note seem less genuine and sincere to employers. It is best to draft these yourself within 24 hours after the interview so that you're able to accurately recall names, topics discussed, and any key details from the meeting. Another appropriate use for AI is career, career fair preparation. You may use it for conducting background research about companies and or brainstorming questions you may ask or be asked by companies. However, as you may suspect, we advise against using AI to generate your elevator pitch as it eliminates the sincerity and personality of your unique voice. While you may also ask it a specific company's values so you can, and can incorporate those elements into your customized pitches, it should not be used to create an entire script for you. To give you an example of why using AI could be ineffective for scripting your pitch, you can see here how the user inputted a limited amount of information about themselves, so that AI software did not have much to work with for the output. These results leaves a lot of questions, such as where and when did you develop a strong foundation in the skills mentioned? Which projects allowed you to hone problem-solving skills? And are you really interested in sustainable aviation specifically, or is AI simply making that up? As you can see, this pitch leaves a lot to be desired. When using AI to optimize your LinkedIn profile, remember all the previously mentioned tips if you choose to use AI to generate content for your LinkedIn summary or about section, please ensure you are thorough in providing enough details to ensure it is accurate. Also, review it to mirror your natural communication tone. As always, use it to generate ideas, not create a final product. Remember, your LinkedIn is a way for potential employers, organizations, and other professionals in your industry to learn a little bit more about you. This is why it is important that what you put in your LinkedIn sounds like you wrote it or said it. An example AI prompt to create a LinkedIn summary is given above. Information such as your name, graduation date, major, interests, past experiences, skills, and keywords should be included to generate a well-written response. 
When you get a response, edit it, for, edit it and add your own unique voice and writing style. Make sure you fi your final product sounds like you and not a robot. As you can see here, changing some of the sentence structure can help for a much more unique and personalized summary statement. Our office does not recommend using AI for salary ne negotiations as it may not give accurate information. If you use it, it could be helpful to review some general information and summarize industry averages based on data reported online. However, we highly encourage you to refer to our salary negotiation handout or attend a salary negotiation workshop to learn negotiation strategies. Our office is open to provide assistance with negotiation as well. We, often, we offer one-on-one -on -one appointments to discuss your particular situation and can offer insight in specific into specific salaries your company has offered UMD grads in the past to assist you with your negotiation strategy. Thanks for tuning in and learning about how to responsibly leverage AI for your career development. We hope this video helped and gave you a valuable insight about this tool. You are always welcome to visit us in 1131 Martin Hall, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. during the school year and summers as well. We also do virtual appointments if needed. We hope to see you soon.